Hey, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to have a look at IP forward protocol. Um, so the most common um, reason that we need to use an IP helper is for DHCP, right? So normally, uh, if I have, if I am a client and I need a DHCP address, then I will send out a broadcast for that DHCP request. And if the DHCP server is on my subnet, then it will reply and give me an address. If it's not, I use an IP helper in order to turn that broadcast into a unicast and send it across subnets. But there's many other reasons why we would want to take those UDP broadcasts and turn them into a unicast and send them to another subnet. Um, so it could be wake on LAN, it could be um, uh, time, uh, so NTP time, it could be, you know, a DNS broadcast, it could be a TFTP broadcast, or it could be a custom reason, right? I might want to send a particular UDP port like, you know, UDP port 1080 uh, to a particular device on another subnet. And so the way we would do that is with IP forward protocol in conjunction with IP helper. So we need both things. Um, so the IP helper is assigned either on the physical interface or on the VE. So in this case, um, if I do a show run interface VE1, I see that I have a single address on here, 192.168.1.77 slash 24. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to assign an IP helper, uh, interface VE1, IP helper dash address, uh, and we're going to send it to, you know, 11.0.0.10. .10. .10. .10. Oh, excuse me. I need to put in my helper address, right? So you can, you can have up to 16 helper addresses per interface, uh, but you need to number them. Yeah. So this is, this is the first one on this interface. Um, so it's number one. So right now, by default, it's going to take uh, DHCP requests or BOOP requests uh, on this subnet and forward it to 11.0.0.10. And also by default, it's going to take DNS, TFTP, time, and TACAX uh, broadcasts and send them off to that server. So um, th you may want to add more ports to that, or you may want to take away some of those ports. Maybe you don't want to send DNS and, and TFTP requests off to that server. So from a global config, uh, the command is IP forward dash protocol, um, and then UDP has to be UDP, and then we can do uh, multiple things here. So we can do the f the following by name. So you know, echo, discard, time, tacx, DNS, boot PS, boot PC, TFTP, NTP, uh, net BIOS, mobile IP, uh, talk. Or you could specify a custom one. So we could say, you know, UDP port uh, 1080, for example. And you can you can have many, right? Port 85. Uh, you could do, you know, something else that's not there. Talk. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, so so you can add many many to that. But the other thing you can do is you can also disable the default port. So um, let's say this is just a DHCP server, and we don't want to send it, you know. Um, DNS packets, right? So we do a no IP forward protocol. Uh, and then you can disable all the default ones. So, so um, UDP DNS, uh, get rid of um, TFTP, get rid of uh, time, and lastly, get rid of TACX. So that will get rid of all the default ones. Now I know I turned on some other ones previously in this example, but but uh, normally if you just want boot P or DHCP, then uh, then you can get rid of all the rest of those default ones and just stick to the boot P protocol. Um, anyway, so that's it. Pretty straightforward command, and uh, hope you learned something. Thanks. Tune in again.